Well, today was full of sunshine, but some chances for rain later. Yeah. Tonight. What you got? What you got? Yeah, I got some clouds for you. Okay. Got a dry day for you tomorrow. That'll That's work. That's good. That'll work. You gonna hit the golf course tomorrow? Uh, you you paying? <laughs> then I'm there. <laughs> it depends. You got the give fees? You the day off, we'll go you together. Got the fees? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, today, tomorrow's your day to get something done outside, whether it's no. playing or getting some work done, because yeah, some rain in our in our forecast. Uh, hey, let me show you the bigger picture. Here is what it looks like: big area of low pressure off to the south, and that's going to be impacting us a little bit in the next couple of days. But I want to first bring your attention way out here in the middle of the Atlantic. I mean, it's not impacting anything now, but it is our second tropical, our second name storm, Brett. It's still 1,200 miles away from the southern Leeward Islands or Windward Islands, uh, the Lesser Antilles. Winds just at 40 miles per hour, so a very weak tropical storm, but a tropical storm nonetheless. Here is the path over the next few days. It's going to continue to track its way off to the west, and I pause this Wednesday morning, Wednesday evening, 8 o'clock, forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane. It does approach those windward islands, and that will be sometime probably late Thursday, early Friday morning, most likely as a strong tropical storm, and then it continues to head closer to, say, the Dominican Republic and Haiti as a tropical storm at this point. Certainly bears watching. Doesn't have any immediate impact on our area. So we're going to go mostly cloudy tonight. Temperatures for the most part in the mid-60s around the board, and then tomorrow a mostly cloudy but dry day. We'll say 82 in Philly. Down the shore a little cooler. The influence from those Easterly winds. You can see temperatures in the mid to low 70s in the Lehigh Valley, right around 80 degrees, but generally dry tomorrow. Let's talk about your next weather maker. I'm going to take you to Wednesday, and this one will bring us some spotty showers into the morning hours in some of our southern zones. We walk into the day, and I will tell you this graphic here, this, this particular model, is a little overdone in my opinion. It's certainly more aggressive than any of the others. If this verified exactly as is on, again, Wednesday, not tomorrow, but Wednesday, we'd have a line of rain from northern Delaware right through South Jersey continuing, just, just cloudy and rainy. Again, it's the most aggressive model. However, it has been pretty reliable as of late, so I'm kind of leaning into it a little bit more. It's freshly updated data. Notice it brings it up to Philadelphia and then starts to taper things off. So some showers on Wednesday, mainly afternoon and early evening before the next wave comes in Wednesday night and into Thursday. And that one looks to bring us a fair amount of rainfall. So I definitely will say our next weather maker is Thursday, but we could see some showers as early as Wednesday. Once again, outside tomorrow, that's your day to get stuff done because the door opens up for a very wet pattern Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday. Basically what happens is this area of low pressure sets up overhead and showers and storms each day. The severe weather threat looks fairly low at this point, which is great, but we'll track it. I mean, weekend plans, you're going down to the shore, you're again getting around a golf in, whatever it is, certainly stay in touch with the weather, stay in tune. We'll update you as we get through, but a few showers starting Wednesday and then all the way through the seven day period. You guys, we'll send it back over. All right, buddy, thank you.